Right now, we are at a place where one of humanity's greatest atrocities occurred, Auschwitz. The Holocaust was the mass genocide of Jews during World War II. Six million Jews were wiped out between 1941 and 1945, just four years. Auschwitz-Birkenau in Poland was the largest German Nazi concentration and death camp, where over one million people were killed. 90% of those people were Jewish, while the other 10% belonged to other minority groups across Europe. You are able to visit this camp today. Here, you can see the barracks where prisoners were held, and the gas chambers where the Nazis mercilessly exterminated their victims. It is difficult and disturbing to see, but we must understand the gravity of what happened in order to prevent it from happening again. However, today I want to show you something inspiring. It is called March of the Living. March of the Living is a Holocaust education program, and every year on Holocaust Memorial Day, they host a march beginning from Auschwitz I and ending at Birkenau. This march retraces the steps of the March of Death, the actual route which countless numbers of victims were forced to take on their way to the gas chambers in Birkenau. Today, this march is known as March of the Living. On this day, thousands of people from around the world of a variety of religious backgrounds marched for approximately three kilometers to commemorate Holocaust Memorial Day. This march is led by Holocaust survivors. Some of these survivors came here for the last time, like Eric Hirsch, who himself is a survivor of this camp. The sight of so many people coming together is incredibly moving. I'm Muhammad Kabia, Arab Israeli Muslim. I'm, I'm marching to remember the six million Jewish people that uh, killed and murdered by the Nazis only because they was Jewish. You can see now how a dark place like this is in some way being redeemed. Together, we marched in remembrance of the six million Holocaust victims. Together we proclaimed, never again.